Good Saturday morning. It is about 4.30, the first Saturday of August, and my truck is clean, ready to go. We are headed up to Pennsylvania this morning to pick up some more implements for my Super C. Uh, I'd like to uh, welcome all the new subscribers to the channel, and welcome back to continued supporters. Thank you for hanging out during this long, slow process of building the McChicken Mansion which is still under construction, but it's in the final stages. So enough jabbering, let's start the truck up and roll to Pennsylvania. It is 370, 375 miles one way. So this is an all day trip. So stay tuned for some of the action and we'll see you at the end of the video. Good Sunday afternoon. Um, we got back late last night, got up this morning, went to church, and now we're going to try and 
unload the cultivators. I've got the tractor. We're going to hook up the boom pole to it and try and get this stuff unloaded. And I might even put the front ones on to see what they, uh, what they look like. So let me get this done because it's going to be kind of hard for me to operate the camera and unload this at the same time without tearing my truck up. So we'll be back in just a few. Stay tuned. All right, we are back. And as you can tell, it is really hot out here. I've got them unloaded. So let's take a quick look so we can finish up the video and I can get home to some air condition. So anyway, here we go. Got them, I got them on. I got to get some, well, I'm actually gonna make the bolts that are beveled on the back so that they fit in and I don't have to put washers in there. But anyway, it's there. Everything is here. Still has the original lock on it for when you bring them forward to set them on, take them off the tractor. They lock in on this bar. The one on that side is broken, so we'll fix that. Um, this guy was a real farmer. There's a bunch of nails in here. He didn't have time to go to the store for cotter pins. So anyway, uh, the front ones are on. I'm going to have to run a shorter belt because this arm here will hit the alternator. So we're going to get a shorter belt and see if we can slide that in. And if I need to, I'll modify the upper bracket to get the uh, alternator in there far enough. So let's look at what else we got. All right, I've got all the spring arms for the tractor. I got the two shorts and the two longs. This one actually goes underneath the, the tractor, which will drag behind the front wheels. Uh, I need to find one more to go here, but that's okay. I've got enough to do what I need to do. And over here, is the the back cultivators this is the the type that bolt to the rear axles it has both of the arms on it and it still has the original foot and the brackets for the feet are right here still got the original brackets on it so uh it is missing the center one but it, it's like i said that's minimal because the ones up the the go behind the front tires will solve that problem uh, I'm going to take the springs off of this one and I'm going to use it on this set of rear cultivators because this is the fast hitch mount right there and those will work with the Super C so what I'm going to do is take the springs off of that one put them on that one and we're going to let it roll but there is one other thing I want. Well, I did find a two-way plow, but that's not important. There's something else I want, and we're gonna start looking for it. So hopefully it won't take me long to find what I'm looking for, get out of the sun. So that way I'll, I'll have a complete set. Well, like I said, it's hot. I'm gonna move that rear set over there and take the boom off the tractor put the tractor back up in the other building and go sit in some air condition. So thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for watching and welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're a continued supporter, I apologize for the time uh, or the space between videos, but that Mac chicken mansion, as my buddy calls it, is a killer. So Hopefully I have that done in the next couple of weeks and we can get back on the farm all in. Have a great evening and we'll see you next time.